The biggest problem that we have in the church by far is people leaving scripture and coming up with a thought, even a doctrine, a practice that is not represented in the Bible, which is, by the way, the very definition of unbiblical. And when you have a conversation with someone who might say that this is okay, that this is allowable, this is acceptable, and then your response to them, such as when it comes to being slain in the spirit, well, the Bible doesn't say it's not there. And so because it's not there, you say that it shouldn't be. And so therefore, your argument is a argument from silence. Have you heard it before? When someone will say that your argument is an argument from silence, as though that's a bad thing. Well, I want to ask you a question. I want to go to a passage and you tell me what this means. Tell me if you understand this to mean the same thing that it means to me. In 1 Corinthians 4, 6, he says, Now these things, brethren, I have figuratively, figuratively applied to myself and Apollos for your sakes, so that in us you may learn not to exceed what is written, so that no one of you will become arrogant in on behalf of one against another. In other words, it seems to be saying to me, now I don't know how you take it, but to me, Paul is clearly trying to get across to them, don't go off and do things on your own. Don't start thinking things or making things up, because then again, if you do so, how can someone hold you accountable to the text? Well, they can't. If Because now you're going to see more and more people that are going to say that everything that God has to say or will say that God wants is not written in the text. Now, there's some truth to that, but everything that God wants us to know, everything that God wants us to do, that absolutely is. When we depart or leave the scriptures, now we are subject to be a gospel all unto ourselves. We are subject to be an authority. And all we have to do is say, the Lord told me. I've, I've received a revelation from the Lord. That's why Paul is saying, that's why Paul is saying this passage here. He's saying that you may learn not to exceed. And by the way, the word that's used here is from the exact same word for disciple. So that you would disciple, that you would learn, condition yourself not to exceed, not to exceed, guys, or go beyond what is uh, in the text. What is written? What is written for a reason? There's a point. There's a reason why God would, through his Holy Spirit, would inspire man to write. Why? So we, as a matter of fact, what does the Bible say in that same vein? In 2 Timothy 3, 16, he says, all scripture, all these writings, all the all these writings are inspired, are theonoustos, which is breathed out from the Holy Spirit for, uh, by God and profitable for teaching uh, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. Why? So that the man of God or woman will be adequate in every and equipped for every good work, not lacking a thing. And so to come back and say that if a person says, hey, that's not in the Bible. Well, what you're saying is that's just an argument from silence. No, it's not. No. To say something like that, when people bring it up, it's because they don't have a biblical reason. If you do not have a biblical reason for what you're doing, you are out of line, you're out of order, and you are, by definition, also unbiblical. Now, notice also what he says in verse 6, that would be the result of someone departing scripture. And then you tell me if we don't also see this today. He says, because if you do so, so that none of you will become arrogant in behalf of one against another, one against the other. So what happens is when you leave the scriptures, you tend to want to say, or you maybe not you, but others will say that that person is more filled with the spirit. That person is being led by the spirit. I've had this thrown at me before. Corey, you stick too much to the word of God. You are too, you got, you rely too much on head knowledge and not being led by the spirit. Well, if you, what you're being led by is not by the word of God, then you're being led by a spirit, but not the Holy Spirit. And so to me, it is one of the most overused and improperly used arguments. Again, this, you have an argument from uh, silence. That is an argument that people tend to come up with. I can't think of very many arguments, biblical arguments, that folks have used that, and it was because they had other scriptures to go to. If you have a scripture to go to, well, then go to the scripture. But they don't go to it, but because you are holding yourself to the scripture, well, then they seem to want to say, well, the scripture doesn't say you cannot do it. So if I were to go and just to blow in your eye, just whoosh, whoosh, something silly like that, something, something really goofy, what could you? What would be your defense? I, my defense is the Lord wants me to do that. This is me imparting my spirit that's been anointed by the Lord on you. 
that sounds weird, but by the way, we see that happening. And what, do you, what would be your defense? Well, the Bible doesn't say to, well, no, your argument is an argument from silence. I can do so because the Lord is moving up. That's the point that we have. Because what ends up happening is people end up placing themselves in a realm or a place of being superior than the other person spiritually. And the Lord is moving. And so if the Lord is moving in me, you ought to be obedient. And anything that you say where the Bible doesn't specifically say, hey, do not blow your breath in someone's eye because it doesn't say that, well, then your argument is an argument from silence. But again, what does he say? You must learn. I hope I want you to learn not to exceed, not to go beyond, not to exceed, not to do more than what is written in the scripture. Now, you're free to disagree. That's fine. My question is, if you disagree, hopefully you do not. Hopefully you see what the, the what just a clear understanding of this text is. But if you disagree, I would sure love to know why. What do you think it says? And on what basis do we have to depart from the scriptures?